Stopped in Macon, Georgia on a road trip from Birmingham to Savannah, Georgia. I wanted to check out Capricorn Studios. This is where they recorded the Allman Brothers, Joe Cocker, Leonard Skinner. Saw a Cake album on the wall too, so I guess Cake recorded an album there. Anyway, it's known as the birthplace of Southern Rock, Macon, Georgia. And the town in general, there's some pretty cool things to see there. It's the hometown of Little Richard and Otis Redding. And there's an Otis Redding statue in town. There's a museum dedicated to the Allman Brothers in Macon, Georgia, too. It's called uh, the Big House Museum. It's where Dwayne Allman lived and the Allman Brothers Band. They would jam and rehearse there. So I walked around the town. Uh, it was a pretty cool looking area. Restaurants and bars and stuff. Um, and I saw the visitor center. They call themselves Where Soul Lives. Where Soul Lives. So I stopped by the Capricorn Studios. It was, uh, originally it was a rundown building. You know, it was a recording studio in the 70s, but then it got run down and it closed. And it was closed for a long time until they poured some money into it and they reopened it. Of course, the, the studios were made famous because the Allman Brothers recorded there. Uh, but many other artists ended up recording there. Um, and now you can go and check it out and they have a museum and you could tour the studios. Now, when I came, they uh, had like, you know, scheduled tour times and I had already missed the tour that had happened that day. So I ended up going into the museum. I got a ticket to the upstairs museum and you can learn more about the studios there. So first thing you get inside and there's rows of albums that they had made on the studio all along the walls. So you just kind of check those out, see which ones you recognize, get excited when you see one that you recognize. Marshall Tucker Band, I saw that one on there. They had these displays where you could thumb through the albums that were made at the studio and listen to the tracks and learn more about them. I found the Eat a Peach album by the Allman Brothers and uh, listened to the song Melissa. I know my dad had uh, that album when we were growing up. And I also dated a woman named Melissa who said that she was named after that song. So anyway, that was cool. I listened to that with their high quality headphones. They had a display for Jimmy Carter, uh, who is from Georgia. He was the president who was into rock and roll. It's always a cool thing when your president is into rock and roll. A lot of people thought it was the devil's music at one time. They had some psychedelic paintings on the wall, and they had a mural for Peach's Pick of the Crop album that was made at Capricorn. And it features a bunch of Capricorn artists like Dwayne Allman, Greg Allman, Richard Betts, Elvis Bishop, this band Hydra. I listened to one of their songs on their little... Uh, player kind of interesting so they had a bunch of displays and things on the wall as you'd expect from a museum it's cool it's good stuff looks like it was brand new as advertised so the studio uh wasn't just a studio of course back in the time it was a staple for the local music scene and the scene started to get pretty big and exciting in the 70s they hosted this capricorn barbecue and summer games party at lakeside park just outside of mason and famous folks like Andy Warhol and Jimmy Carter and others that came out to check out the scene. So there was a lot of uh, excitement about the, the music scene in uh, Macon, Georgia. And glad I had a chance to check it out. Hope you get a chance to check it out someday. Maybe I can come back and tour the actual studio someday. But, um, you know, I post about my musical experiences here and my music. So hit that subscribe and the bell to stay tuned on my posts. Hit the like if you like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And feel free to share if you want to share. Thanks for checking this out.